What is going on everybody, it's your boy Nathan Skills, and today we're going to be talking about how to complete the second raid boss in Operation Dark Hours. Now this boss is the weasel and it's a little easier to do than most of the other raid bosses so this one should be pretty quick to teach you guys but these are some tips, some tricks, an easy guide for you guys to complete it. So the first thing you need to do is hit this computer. When you guys are going through it's going to say activate. Once you activate it you're going to have one team go to alpha and one team go to bravo so either subgroup one go alpha, subgroup two go bravo however you want to do but both of these elevator doors will open up. So one team will go left, one team will go right. Now once you do get down to the bottom you have these three panels right here. The way I like to do it is the front of the plane is located closest to where you came down on both sides. So the panel closest to the front of the plane will be Alpha, the middle will be Bravo, and the end will be Charlie. This is the easier way for you guys to call it out. Remember there's going to be one guy on my side you hit in the panels and one guy on the other side hitting the panels. Now you're always going to have one backup guy to hit the panels and you're going to want one of the backup guys right there and then on the other side you're going to want the second backup guy on this side because as soon as you activate the panels you will get targeted with a red eye and it's not going to let you hit the panels again because you're going to be getting bombarded and you'll probably die so that's what you have the backup guy for now if you are targeted i recommend being under this cover right here away from your teammates and then the same thing on the other side so you're just going to make sure that if you have the eye you're always under that covered area and then hopefully your teammates can stay away from you and that way they're not getting hit by gunfire or bombs now if you guys do mess up on the panels you'll get this error screen and then you just have to wait for it to reset now whatever side has the green panel they will be calling it out like right now i have it it's bravo i call it out three two one push it we push it at the same time and then we'll get our first wave so the purple side is the non damage side and then the orange side is the damage face side so when it initially goes off you can still do a lot of damage but you'll get to a point where you'll only be doing like 100 to 200 damage now if you look under your armor kit you're gonna see this symbol that looks like an SMG right well that symbol has a countdown that's going up now once you hit to 15 seconds you need to send the backup guy to the panels and he's going to be calling it out and that's where you're going to hit the panels again and that will switch from purple face to damage face so you'll go from our side will get the damage face so we'll be able to start doing more damage and the other side will switch to purple face now you guys want to keep swapping this back and forth back and forth every 15 seconds you guys want to head to the panel call it out and that way you guys don't take any damage now if you do not make it within 20 seconds You'll start to get dizzy. The purple side will start taking a lot of damage, health damage, and it's gonna get really hard to beat. Now, one of my recommendations is if you get one boss to half health, you break his arm, you get him to half health, you hold off until the other team can finish off their boss, and that's when you'll finish off yours. And the reason why you do this is because once the main boss comes down, it gets kind of crazy when you have two bosses shooting at you. So if you can always finish off both bosses before the big boss comes down, that's a perfect run. Right here we did end up leaving one of the smaller bosses up, so we have to wait to damage phase to finish him. But you can see that he's in health damage, so we should be able to drop him pretty quick as soon as the gas changes to orange, which is damage phase, right? Because remember, now it's automatically going to switch back and forth. Now as soon as you start seeing the orange smoke drop down, that is when you know you need to tell all of your teammates they need to focus the smaller boss, drop them real quick so that way you just have to worry about weasel. So this part is pretty easy as long as you guys can do a little bit of ad control getting those enemy NPCs that are running around. Be careful with the sniper up top. You're going to notice I try to hit the boss with the grenade launcher and I end up getting sniped. I had almost full armor, I get sniped and I get dropped. So there are snipers that hang out in the windows. There's usually one sniper on each side so you can have one of your guys kind of focus him, drop him pretty quick and that way the rest of your team doesn't have to worry about dying to a sniper. Now remember purple phase, you will start to take a lot of health damage so make sure you guys are healing up as much as possible, staying in cover, using patience. And then once you see that orange smoke come out, that is when you guys should be putting out enough damage on the boss so that way you guys can drop him because he's not too hard to beat remember if you have the eye stay away from the rest of the group one thing I've noticed is if you're the one putting a lot of DPS on him say like you're in front of him and you're hitting him with a lot of headshots you tend to get the eye pretty quick targeting you so just know that if you're putting a lot of DPS on him 
you're hitting them with those hard hitting shots, you're more likely to have the eye on you a lot of the time. Now the boss has three types of weapons. He has a machine gun, he has a grenade launcher, and then he has a sticky bomb. Now his sticky bomb is on a timer so it doesn't explode right away. So if you get stuck with it, pull away from the rest of your team so you don't end up dropping them too. Now just rinse and repeat as soon as you guys get that orange smoke, unleash the power on them, destroy them, and once you beat him, you just have to clear out the remainder NPCs that are running around. The sniper up top should drop down. That's it. It's that simple. It's pretty simple to do. I want to say for me, Weasel is one of the easier bosses. I think Boomer is a lot harder. I think Lucy and Buddy are harder. And then of course, Razorback is definitely harder. I feel like this one, as long as you can control the panels, it should be smooth selling. If you guys pass Boomer and you guys come to this one, you'll notice a big difference that Boomer is a lot harder than this one. If you guys have any questions on this, let me know in the comment section. If you found this video useful after watching it, hit the thumbs up. Remember, this is raid week, so I'm going to be dropping boss guides, build guides, tips and tricks, things I think you guys might be doing wrong. And hopefully, at the end of this week, you have finally completed the raid. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on if you're new to my channel, first time watching a video. I appreciate all the support, everybody. Until the next video, nothing but skills out.